So recently I made a new update on the Nitrotype Worldwide Chat. This update was requested by this user named Nathan7688. Originally he wanted me to add his chat on the Nitrotype Worldwide Chat so, it, so he didn't have to switch between tabs. But then I took that idea and expanded it and made it to where anybody can add their own chat along with the Nitrotype Worldwide Chat. If you don't have the updated version of the chat yet, then I'll put the link to the chat in the description description of the video. So you can go there and reinstall the chat. Or if it's your first time, install the chat for the first time. And once you have installed or reinstalled the chat, go to Nitrotype. And if you are there already, then refresh the page. The first update you'll see is probably the small compacted button at the bottom right. To open up the chat, click on the chat button. And to close the chat, you'll close, you'll press on this minus button. So now let me open the chat back up again. As you can see, I've added two chats already. Let me go ahead and delete these real quick so I can show you how to add your own chat. So when you first load the page, this is probably what you'll see. And let me just go ahead and join the chat real quick just to see what's going on in the chat. And it's kind of a little slow for me right now. That's just because I am recording a video and that makes things a little slower. But it should be just fine for you. So to add your own chat here, you'll press on this plus button right here, the green plus button. And then you'll get the link to your chat by going to the chat. So for example, I will go to this chat right here. This is just a random chat that I found. So what you want to do from here is, and as you can see, there's nobody right here in here for now, but uh, what you need to do is copy the link from the address bar. And then you'll go back here and paste the chat link here. And then you'll press on add chat. And when you do that, it will add the chat like that. Uh, let me add, let me go ahead and add one more chat. And this is, and I'll add this chat this time. Copy and then paste. Add chat. Okay, I have two chats added. Let me go ahead and add the last chat, all right? Because I want to tell you that you can add up to three chats. And now, if I press on the plus button, it won't let me add anymore. And you probably don't even need these three slots, honestly, but just in case you do, you can add up to three chats. And to delete a chat, just hover a button over the button or over the chat name for about a second. Just leave it on here, hover over it, and it will show you the delete button, and then you can click on it. Now, let's see if it works, if it actually works. So if I go to chat 2, click on join chat, it should show me the chat 2 that I copied. There you go. Yep, this is the other chat. Let's see what's in chat 3. I don't remember what link I copied, but I just had random chats open for a demonstration of this video. And as you can see, um, I have that open too. And by the way, even if I ref refresh the page or if I go away or whatever, it should, it will still show it. It will still save it. So I'll open it up. There you go. There's the two chats that I have saved. And the main chat, you cannot delete that because it's the main chat. The main chat is the natural type worldwide chat. That's the original chat. And by the way, if you haven't joined the chat yet, I, I would encourage you to join the chat. Just come by and say hi, I guess. So if you're running like a com competition or something like that, you can have the chat open. You can talk to people and stuff. And that's really all I got. And that's how you use the chat. If you have any questions, let me know in the chat or in the comment section of this video.